How to create a simple animation in GIMP 2.6 on a Windows XP operating system. Once you've opened a file, go to the main menu and left click on the word Windows, hover your mouse over the words Dockable Dialogues, and from the drop down menu that appears, left click on the word Layers. That will release your Layers dialog box to the desktop and you'll want to move it to some place that you can kind of keep track of it as you go along through layers. The eyeball simply means that the layer is visible. Left clicking on it will cause it to be invisible. The way to know that the layer is active is if it's highlighted. Even if the eyeball is not on, if the layer is highlighted, that is the active layer. So let's add some layers. Go to the word layer in your main workspace area and left click and I'm going to select duplicate layer. In order to create the simple animation I'm just going to move the layer by going to the toolbox on the left hand side and left clicking on the move tool which is just the four arrows. As you see in the lower half of the menu the layer is active for movement. So I'm going to left click and drag my mouse to move the image over. As you see in the layers menu the layer that I just added is the active layer. It is visible as is the layer beneath it which is the original it, image. To see the animation go back to your main workspace menu and left click on the word filters, hover your mouse over the word animation near the bottom, follow the drop down menu down to the word playback and left click. A new showing you your animation. Mine may take a moment. There it is. This is the menu that you will see. I'm going to reduce the size of the other one so you don't get distracted. To play it, simply click play. To stop it, click play again. You can step through your image one frame at a time and you can tell which frame you're on by the lower little window. It'll tell you frame two of two, frame two of three, however many layers you have. You can rewind it. You can also detach your work and move it someplace else on your desktop. Even while it's detached you can use the features of this window. In order to reattach it simply left click detach again and in the lower left hand corner you will see a small window that says 100 percent and a drop down menu arrow next to it. Left click on that arrow and select a different rate of speed and you can view your work at different rates. And to stop it, just click play again. When you're finished observing what you've created, go to the X mark, the close button in the upper right hand corner and left click. And then you can proceed to work on your animation. Now to be able to see your animation played back in the real player, you'll go to file, save as, title your project, and type .gif as the extension, or just title it, then go to the select file type by extension and left click, and select the GIF image from the drop down menu, and then click save. I already have one titled this to replace it. A pop-up menu will appear telling you that it's going to export the file. By default it is set to flatten the image and you don't want that to happen so you'll need to change that to save as animation so left click in the white circle. Then click export. Now because I moved a layer it's going to alert me in this pop-up that it has to crop that layer that I moved so that it fits with the layer beneath it. So I'm just going to click crop and allow it to do that. 
In the last dialog box, you will have options to modify the way your little animation is saved. And when you've finished creating little modifications to it, click Save. And now, to play it in your real player, all you'll need to do is open your real player, go to File, and Open, and then select the file that you just created. That's all there is to working with the layers, just two of them, in one way of creating an animation in GIMP 2.6.